Welcome to my channel, Pleiadian Mystique. Thanks for joining me for your reading this week. So let's get started. Um, so my readings are not date specific. They're just the energy in the current moment. So if you've been guided by spirit to my channel, you might have a message that um, your spirit guides may want you to see um, from this particular reading. But these are general readings, so not everything will always resonate. And it's the energy, so it can be reversed. Um, you know, everyone's situation is different. If it's reversed, it doesn't necessarily mean anything bad that um, it's just come through a certain way. You just have to uh, reverse it to your situation. Um, so I just take the messages how they come out and you can do the rest. So if you'd like to book a personal reading, check out my description box. It has a link to my website um, and then you'll receive an email once you book and I will let you know the wait time. Um, it's only about five working days at the moment. Um, it was getting about to two weeks, but I've start to, started to catch up on all of the readings. So if you want a more specific um, set of guidelines or guidance or, you know, just want to know what direction to move forward in your life, if you're currently stuck, um, then feel free to book a personal reading. Now, I'm also going to be putting um, an Amazon wish list into my description as well, because a few people have wanted to donate decks to my channel so if you feel guided to or appreciate my channel and you want to give back to the channel um an amazon wish list is in the description as well and then i think once you pay for the the deck it just automatically gets posted to me and yeah then you can um watch it on the channel in the future which is i find is a really great energy exchange as well all right so let's get started now taurus um what is your spirit animal? And this is a you versus them situation. So it's you and another person. What is the energy? Okay, we have ant spirit. Wasp spirit. Okay, I'm getting that that's your energy. And then we have your other person you're dealing with. hummingbird okay all right Taurus so I'm getting um two messages from this energy so you're coming through as the wasp spirit and the ant spirit so sometimes life stings the wasp spirit so wasps are very um very busy animals they're kind of like the bee but they have a really intense um sting to them so I feel like you've been stung by um this hum hummingbird <laughs> Um, I feel like it was kind of an indirect type of um, sting or pain, but um, I feel like there's something that's transpired between you and this hummingbird over here. We have the hummingbird. Um, the hummingbird is a beautiful energy where they kind of, um, hummingbirds are very free spirited animals and they um, kind of just all about, you know, love, light, peace, um, and they communicate really well. <clears throat> with the spiritual realms so i i'm sensing here there's a situation taurus where you um you were stung by the hum hummingbird and maybe you um inflicted some pain on them because the wasp energy to me is someone that's buzzing 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 around what like really busy all the time and um not realizing maybe the pain that they've inflicted on others and i feel like what's happened is um you know, when a bee actually stings somebody else, then it actually dies. I feel like you have um, unintentionally inflicted a lot of pain on various different energies and people. And this hummingbird, you know, was watching you uh, from its tree. It was perched up really high and it observed you going around being really busy and stinging a few different energies and people and maybe you came towards this hummingbird and tried to sting it but I feel like it protected itself and as a result of that it kind of flew away and said I'm because hummingbirds fly away from past pain they don't engage in um they don't engage in things that um don't serve them so this hummingbird has flown away onto greener pastures and I feel like you were caught in the crossfire the hummingbirds are in the here and now so it says be here now so um, they hover and they, they, they're, they're quite still. Um, so I feel like this person, 
basically um, was just hovering in the same spot and you were the one buzzing around doing all these different um, things and I feel like um, this person wasn't going about in search of something better but you were and I feel like in this connection um, this person realized that you and this connection was the right opportunity and I feel like you were kind of on the search for something better um, and as a result of that you kind of stung this hummingbird and in the pro process I do feel like you've stung yourself um, because I feel like this hummingbird was letting go of anything that didn't serve it and they basically said to you you know what um, I'm not really going to sit here and wait around for you to figure this out and I feel like um, there was a purpose, a higher purpose for this pain and it was to get you to grow and even though you might be feeling disappointment and resentment, um, you'll, you'll soon come to see that something wonderful is coming through and manifesting in the future and basically, um, you weren't getting re rejected, you're getting redirected to the right path. And as a result, I feel like you're in between these two energies. You want to collaborate now. You want to work together. You want to... I feel like you're being quite um, selfish maybe towards this hummingbird. This hummingbird was living in the moment, waiting to collaborate with you. It was a very spiritual animal. Um, and this energy of you, it was a 10. So this cycle needed to end for the new start to begin. So this cycle where you were very... Um, um, flighty and just going off on your own direction, not really caring about um, how your actions affected other people, that really needed to come to an end. And I feel like this hummingbird energy has put this to an end for you now. Um, and it might have stung a little bit, but now you're thinking about being a team player and you're in that like full type energy where you want to take a leap of faith, be more of a team player and work together with this hummingbird. All right, so let's get um, a clarifying card here for this energy. All right. <clears throat> okay. So this is where I feel the positioning is for these energies. So this hummingbird um, has released themselves from you. They may, um, they may have a loyal heart. They may be in love with you. But I feel like this um, connection wasn't serving the hummingbird. So I feel like... Um, you know, this is a feminine energy coming through here because you have a feminine on the card, but they have released their attachment to this situation, this outcome, and they um, have decided that this this connection wasn't serving their highest good. So this hummingbird wants to live in the here and now. They want to, um, you know, have a good, solid foundation and connections. Um, they're trying to manifest love into their life, and they do. Um, this is like a twin energy as well. This person is very intuitive. They have a loyal heart. They um, they want to have, you know, um, a solid love life, a solid connection. And I feel like they've released um, their attachment to you. Even though this person does have feelings, deep feelings for you, deep love, they have released um, you from their grips that maybe they were hovering around waiting for you to make a decision about the connection. And I feel like in the meantime, they got stung and then you got stung and maybe some other people were collateral damage in the, in the meantime while you were on your process of um, accepting your feelings or working things out. But basically, this person has let you go and released you, even though you had a really solid connection and you were really... Um, they were really loyal and their heart was loyal to you. I thought this person did wait around and didn't move, um, waited for you and was very loyal to the connection but didn't see anything in return so they had no choice but to release you um, and like a like a butterfly they've transformed and they've stepped into their, their power. Now over here we have your energy which is um, 
the wasp and the ant. So you actually saw this person as your treasure island, but you're moving quite slow towards them because I feel like you were trying to fight feelings for this person. You were kind of like really busy all the time. So you kind of pushed your feelings down under the rug type energy um, and you, you were in denial. <laughs> like let's be honest some people just when they fall in love they're just in denial no I don't have feelings this person and they keep themselves busy to distract themselves so I'm sensing Taurus this is you 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 had feelings this person they were your home they were your treasure island but you were in denial about it you took the snail um the snail pace in terms of um a turtle so instead he wins the race you're kind of just like is this sexual is this lust you're kind of confused about the connection you're in denial about it and you just thought it would go away if you just kept yourself busy and distracted yourself with other things um but you didn't really want to accept the the intensity of the connection um but now i feel like you've come to a place of acceptance as this person has released you you've kind of realized how actually deep the feelings went and how intense the feelings are and how you actually do see a future and you want to work together with this person because I feel like when they released you you were stung by the stinger of the pain it was very painful so I feel like this is what you've you're, you're accepting that you know the pain um the the strength of your feelings and I feel like you're you're stepping out of denial and accepting how deep your feelings are for this for this particular hummingbird so let's get the connective energies between the two of you guys now that things have um, transpired. How do you both feel? Yeah, it was a very unbalanced situation because the, the hummingbird was waiting around for you, just waiting around for you to come back and um, give them some attention or put some energy or effort into the connection. So this card to me is a leg up. So all this little polar bear needs is for the, the big polar bear to just put its leg up so it can climb up on its back. But this polar bear is just like, no, I'm just going to sit here. This polar bear is in denial. Like I was saying, you were in denial that this um, this little bear is hanging off it and needs just a little bit of support. Um, and I feel like, Taurus, you didn't really give this person the support that they needed emotionally. Um, and this is just an analogy. They, they needed emotional support. They needed attention. You can see that this, this polar bear is not getting any support or any attention from the other. So it was very unbalanced. So that's the connective energies. We're out of balance here. We've got an um, imbalance in the dynamic. So this is why you were released from this person. Yeah, unexpected. So I feel like this person may have unexpectedly released you. And we have two sevens and sevens are about spiritual lessons. So when this person released you, this hummingbird... I feel like it came as a bit of a shock to you and it was unexpected. And I also am getting um, the feelings that you felt and the pain of the sting of it was unexpected. So the wasp unexpectedly felt pain. The, um, the hummingbird unexpectedly released the connection because it was just out of balance. And so there was an unexpected release and an unexpected trigger instantane instantaneously. Um, within this dynamic so I'll see what else I can get for you guys in terms of spirit animals hmm. a leap of faith yeah so the hummingbird unexpectedly took a leap of faith um, away from this dynamic and what did the wasp do hmm Okay, the wasp Taurus, you unexpectedly turned into the lion. So I feel like this triggered a lot of pain within you and it triggered your growth, Taurus. And now you're coming into your power and you've stepped into the lion's energy. I feel like you've accepted things as they are and I actually feel like um, you are becoming unexpectedly becoming a better version of yourself and the lion's a very majestic type animal so let's get two more clarifying cards with these energies to see where this is going so um the lion please <laughs> yep never-ending story okay and the um grasshopper go the distance okay 
So these cards to me signify that Taurus, you are sick of having um you're sick of having failed relationships. It's a pattern. You're like, this is a never ending story. Why do people leave me? Why do I always get left out in the cold? The grasshopper's like, this isn't going anywhere. I need to just take a leap of faith and have a new beginning because I want a relationship that's going to last a distance. This is a 11. So this is a card about unity. And this is a 10. Um, this is about an the end of a cycle and this is a 10 which is the end of a cycle and this is a three which is creation so the lion um has stepped into its power which is you taurus because this cycle was continuous with you you were always um ending up in pain with the wasp energy um, and this has triggered you to realize unless you collaborate with other people you're going to constantly um, be left unexpectedly out in the cold because maybe you weren't giving enough to people in your relationships you were expecting them to just give to you when you're just in this taking energy and that's why it was a never-ending story because at some point you need to accept that relationships need to be equal give and take and see how this hand here is reaching out for the other hand if the other hand doesn't meet it halfway then that person's constantly going to be out of balance so I feel like what's happened here is you've realized it's a never-ending story for you because all these feminines are just tired tired of the uh tired of the dynamic and it's like just sands through the hourglass with you let's get two more clarifying cards and then I'm going to find out some more advice for you Taurus resistance yeah and what else Okay, so what I sense has happened here, Taurus, is um, you've, you've been resistant to love, you've been resistant to giving, you've been resistant to opening your heart up, and all that it's created for you is pain. All it's created for you is pain. Um, it's a never-ending story, people don't stick around, and it's also created um, an imbalance in your life where you can't grow or flourish because you've resisted the new um, abundance the universe is trying to give you. And this card, um, you know, once you're really closed off to love or new beginnings or abundance, you can't allow for it to flourish. And I really like how this card, you know, someone's holding on really tight to resisting change. And it's a never ending story that um, things don't work out because, you know, it's like, it's like, um, for example, if, you, if you've got water in your hand and you're holding it really tight, the water will just flow straight through your hand. But whereas if you if you hold it lightly, then you'll end up with some water in your hand. And it, it's kind of like resemblance of the emotions and the flow of life in a sense. So this lion has gone through a lot of um, heartbreak and sadness, like a never ending story, because it was a cycle and a pattern that needed to be cycled out. And this resistant energy um, cannot you cannot co-create with the universe when you're in that resistant clammed up energy because you're not in the flow you're not allowing you're not receiving um, the abundance that is meant for you but this all was meant to happen because the lion was supposed to grow into this majestic lion and I feel like there might have been a little bit of ego and pride because this card to me is about balancing out your ego and pride and stepping into you know a noble type energy and then we have the grasshopper here. So this person um, just wants to have a brand new beginning. They have faith that things will get better, that, um, you know, they can find a relationship that's going to go the distance and they're not going to let this um, dynamic between the two of you hinder their progress. So you've got someone that's taken leap of faith and moving ahead. So I guess um, I'm going to try and see what the advice is for you, Taurus, because I feel like you are wanting to come back together with this person, but um, we'll see what the universe has to say about it. Because you're now, because I feel like you've learnt your lesson. Yeah. So you see this person as a bit of a hidden treasure. Sorry. Um, and you want to go after them because they're like a rare, precious gem. And this, the universe is saying, seek hidden treasure. This person is gold because there's a little gold little gold circle here and to me I feel like you know the person you're connecting with was gold you're just in denial about your feelings um so the universe is saying seek hidden treasure go after go after what you know makes you happy think things through so if this is a never-ending pattern for you maybe you just um 
don't think things through before you act and maybe that's what caused you to be in that wasper stinger type energy so I feel like the universe is saying appreciate what you have go after you know the things that are actually gold because you know not all the glitters is gold and it's like think things like think things through before you act only um go after you know the 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 treasures in your life and I feel like you'll have a better result in the future um but let's see if I can get one more card here about what's going to come through in the future potentially milk and honey oh I love this card so milk and honey is the best card you can get um in this deck and it's you know my milk and honey is my um this is like my ten of cups card or the ten of pentacles in this oracle deck it's your six of cups so this person is your six of cups your long-term partner your soulmate your um maybe past life connection the life partner so um they are your treasure so i feel like you need to think things through before you act because this person was your six of cups which is um I know a really playful beautiful laughter lots of fun a great connection um and you didn't really think things through in the past now this because you were resisting it so much you um have actually what what resists persists and um that's why you have a never-ending story here of things not working out in your favor so it's a real um shame because this person was your treasure island um, you just need to accept things as they are and go after what is meant for you, which is this person. So um, I'll see if I can get a little bit more for you here with the other deck and then I'll take this over to the extended and see what Spirit's advice is moving forward. Okay, because our thoughts create our reality. So let's find out what Spirit's advice is for you with the terms of your thoughts. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. And I feel like one more card needs to come out. I honour how I want to feel. So I feel like there might be a little bit of um, anxiety, negativity or depression here. Um, and I feel like maybe you've been working a, like working a lot. And I feel like... Um, with this wasp energy, I was, sen I was sensing Taurus that you're like buzzing around, you're keeping yourself way too busy. You're not honoring how you want to feel. You're wasting time um, doing activities and things that, you know, you have committed to without thinking how it's going to make you a feel. So the universe is saying, have fun with your, your life, with yourself. Only um, a commit to people and opportunities and social situations that are going to make you happy um don't hang out with people that bring your vibration down and you know just go for the sake of going and then have to drink all this alcohol or you know whatever you have to need to do to make yourself have fun um cut that stuff out of your life honor how you want to feel work on yourself um, accept your feelings for this person and go and find your hidden hidden treasure and it's funny because we've got two cards here that are about hidden treasure. So this person is your is a gem, really. Your treasure island. They are your hidden treasure. Um, so the universe is saying, go after that treasure. Um, honor your honor your heart, and think things through in the future before you act. All right. So I'm going to take this over to the extended to find out a little bit more and see if there's any more guidance for you. But all the best with this situation, Taurus. Go after your hidden treasure. Bye.